Hi, I'm Sherry from Whole Circle Studio, and welcome to our eighth Around the World Block of the Month destination. This month we're traveling to Tokyo, the capital of Japan. In this video, I'm going to share tips to help you piece your block. This month's block features the Ken-Eji Temple, a beautiful Buddhist temple located in a residential neighborhood in Tokyo. In addition to this video, please refer to the tips included in the pattern, as well as other links located below. You'll find a foundation paper piecing video tutorial and previous month's videos. Let's get started. I have a couple of tips to share for this month's block. First, just as you have in previous blocks, remember to use the dots on the paper as a guide when joining pieces. This will help keep your structure stay symmetrical. The most challenging part of the block is probably going to be joining pieces I, J, K, and L to make the finial, as seen here. Go slow and use the positioning pinning technique I demonstrated in previous month's videos and you'll do great. Here you can see my positioning pins. Once those are in, I secured my two pieces with um, other pins, and then I'll take out the positioning pins before sewing it through the machine. You'll see here that my finial by itself isn't perfectly straight, but once I join it to the background fabric pieces and letters, to, if you're using them, to the left and the right of the finial, it all evens out. If you plan on making the throw quilt with your Around the World blocks, you'll want to wait to complete the Tokyo block until you're ready to assemble the quilt top. This is called out in the pattern. You'll want to set aside the top portion of the block and the bottom portion of the block. Otherwise, you'll need to deal with partial seams when assembling your Around the World quilt top. If you can't wait to see your block assembled, I suggest joining the two pieces with a long basting stitch on your machine, something like a 5.0. That way it's easy to remove the stitches when you're ready to assemble your Around the World quilt top. I can't wait to see your beautiful Tokyo blocks come together. Thanks for being here and for sewing along with us. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And also be sure to share your progress on Instagram using the around the world hashtags found on the pattern so we can check out what you're working on. See you next month and happy sewing.